Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. A Friday when we were on the air, the news broke that Zach Streif is leaving the radio booth. So, quick recap. Zach Streif retired from the NFL following the 2017 season. Of course, Ryan Ramchick blew up after Streif's injury that year. Streif retires, and he joins Saints Radio as the play-by-play man. So, after three seasons as the Saints play-by-play radio voice, He's leaving WWL. Sort of an oddity because the Saints don't own their radio network. They outsource it to WWL. I, I don't know literally of anywhere else where it, ha- where it works like that. Um, I'm not saying there isn't anywhere else where it works like that. But So that's why you know, he's leaving WWL and the Saints uh, the, as the voice of the Saints. Anyway, so there's two ways that I want to approach this because it's not just about in the booth, it's also on the field because Zach Streif is leaving the booth to rejoin, or to join rather, the Saints coaching staff as an assistant offensive line coach. Now, he was supposed to be assistant offensive line coach to offensive line coach Dan Rauscher. That, however, is apparently not going to happen because Jeff Duncan tweeted earlier today that it looks as though the Saints are shuffling responsibilities on the on the um, offensive side. So apparently, and this is according to Jeff Duncan on Twitter. Forgive me, this was um, this was over the weekend. Hearing Saints will likely move veteran offensive line coach Dan Rauscher to the position of tight ends coach slash running game coordinator, and promote assistant offensive line coach Brendan Nugent to offensive line coach. Rauscher coached Saints tight ends in 2015. So. Connect the dots here. Dan Campbell was your tight ends coach. He leaves to become the head coach of the Lions. Move Rauscher to tight ends coach, where he's coached before, and also running game coordinator. So he will still be involved with the offensive line. The assistant offensive line coach, Brendan Nugent, moves up from assistant offensive line coach to line coach, and then Zach Streif moves in as assistant offensive line coach. So everybody just sort of moved up a chair, if that makes sense. Um, and the new guy would be Zach Streif. So I like the addition of Streif to the staff a lot. I think continuity matters, and you've had a lot of turnover on staff. Of course, we already know that um, not only is Dan Campbell gone, he took Aaron Glenn with him, Joe Lombardi and Michael Wilhoyt are headed out to Los Angeles to join the Chargers. That's a lot of turnover on one staff in a year. So if you can maintain any continuity by shuffling roles and adding someone who's familiar with your culture, that's a win. I keep looking at this year as a parallel to 2014. And if you remember how all that went, they lose Darren Sproles, they lose Malcolm Jenkins, They lose Roman Harper. It was the biggest turnover that the Saints had seen from their the the core that had won the championship. I know Sproles wasn't there for the championship, but you know what I mean. And what happened is they brought in failed high price free agents like Jairus Bird, and then it was Kobe Fleener, and it was one after another. And that's when they went back to back to back seven and nine. And ultimately, what Sean Payton elected to do in Loomis and the whole organization was strip it down to rebuild the culture. They traded Jimmy Graham. They traded Kenny Stills. They traded Brandon Cooks. Anybody that was perceived to be a problem or not completely bought in, they shipped them out and brought in guys that were bought in to the culture again. They brought back Roman Harper. They brought back Malcolm Jenkins. So now you're going through that shift again. Drew Brees is going to retire. And we may see massive veteran roster turnover. Thomas Morstead might may be gone. That may sa- sound minimal, but that was the only other guy remaining from your Super Bowl team. I know Malcolm Jenkins, but I mean before Jenkins came back. It was Breeze and Morstead. So you're going to have turnover in the core veteran leadership on your team. Yes, Cam Jordan will be back. Yes, Demario Davis will be back. You have young g- veterans like Ramchick and Lattimore and Kamara that are still going to be there. And I'd assume Malcolm Jenkins will be back next year as well. But... I like bringing Zach Streif back 
because he's a guy who's part of that. He was part of the initial build and part of the teardown rebuild. He was around for it anyway there in 17 when he got injured. So I like the idea of having another guy in the locker room who knows what the expectation is, especially when you could see some shuffling on the offensive line this year. We're expecting Cesar Ruiz to move from guard to center. McCoy moved to, from center to guard. They're probably they got to bring in another offensive lineman because you just saw Nick Easton go and Cameron Tom go. So somewhere along the way, you're going to add bodies to that offensive line group and probably shuffle roles in rotation. And I like the idea of having someone who who knows the culture, knows the position, knows what it's like to work and grind, has the cachet of having been a starter, has a Super Bowl ring. I like that a lot, adding Zach Streif to the staff as an assistant offensive line coach. I also like the idea of Zach Streif stepping out of the booth. Uh, And I don't in any way want to sound critical of Streif because I think he did a hell of a job for a guy that had never done radio. But understand there's 32 NFL play-by-play gigs. It's so rare. And there are people who work their entire lives in broadcasting to get an opportunity like that. And Streif stepped right into it with no experience. And boy, it was, it was bumpy at times. That's not Streif's fault. That's the fault of the people who hired him. But to his credit, he got much better. I mean, he wasn't as polished as you'd have with someone who's a veteran lifelong career broadcaster, but... To his credit, he, well, I think he worked his ass off at it and got, got better at it. I'll be very interested to see what they do. Um, I think there's a couple of very obvious names that would fit. Uh, Sean Kelly was the voice of the Pelicans and seemed like the most natural fit just to transition right into the voice of the Saints, but they hired Streif. And what happened with Kelly is ESPN snatched him up, and now he's doing national broadcasts on ESPN radio. I don't know if the Saints would be interested in Kelly or if Kelly would be interested in coming back after having worked, I, and I haven't sh- talked to Sean, by the way. He's been a guest on our show, but I've not talked to him. But, I mean, he's doing national games for the NBA and college and NFL and college football for ESPN. I don't know that that he'd want that. I, I just don't know. Um, Todd Graffanini's an obvious choice as well. He's a guy who is New Orleans. He was the play-by-play voice for Tulane and is now the play-by-play voice of the Pelicans, taking that role from Sean Kelly after Sean Kelly left. Does Graff move up to the Saints? I don't know. Uh, Mike Haas is a guy who was you know, 30 years in New Orleans as a broadcaster on WWL-TV, and many thought he was going to be a guy that got it last time. Uh, Mike Haas has since left WWL and is now working for the, um, uh, the Louisiana Stadium and Exposition District, you know, the, uh, the group that runs the Superdome. So I don't know if he's interested as well. But I'm curious to see what direction they go, but I think they got some great options. And Look, you're talking about an NFL play-by-play gig. I mean, they're, just, they're so rare that there will not be any shortage of of resumes flooding in and people who want those gigs. But uh, congrats to, to Zach Streif on his job joining the Saints coaching staff. And I lo- from a, an on-field standpoint, I love this. On-field, in the locker room for Sean Payton, adding a guy who knows this organization, who knows this culture, who expects to win, adding him into that room, especially in a year where you're probably going to have some shuffling of the chairs and turnover uh, on the offensive line. So couple of tidbits there as the Saints, uh, some more turnover there on the coaching staff. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact and be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.